Hello everyone, and today I'm gonna show you how to implement LDAP connectivity into your Node.js project. Uh, implementing this feature is quite tricky because of asynchronous nature of JavaScript comparing to synchronous LDAP. So let's begin. I already wrote two, two methods here to save our time. Uh, and I just want to make a quick overview of what I did here. So I implemented two methods, add user and authenticate. So we start with adding user and I would like to use promises because I like promises and it, it is nice to have them into your project. And the thing is that we use LDAP.js to connect to LDAP because connection to LDAP requires sockets and I don't want to spend time on that. I just want to implement my business logic and uh, the, that LDAP.js library is quite useful but it uses uh, callbacks and there is an effort to make it uh, to make it use promises but it's in alpha version so uh, we begin with creating client. Each method should implement create client with options. Don't reuse your client create uh, every time because it, it handled by LDAP.js. It handled connection pool, everything, making it uh, readable and acceptable for LDAP server. So don't go here. Uh, after that, we need to bind. So all connection with LDAP starts with establishing secure contacts. In, in order to create a user, you need to authenticate yourself, to bind yourself as a, a password user. We create password user uh, to manage our users. Apart of administration account, this account can create users and modify password entries. And uh, it has quite restrict rights. So we will use it to add accounts and uh, this is our account template which we fill with data. We use object class as person, organizational person, in that organizational person uh, which define what properties will be available at our accounts. Um, it's pretty much it, and then we run LDAP client and add this record. First uh, parameter is DN, domain name. The main name consists of uh, the main components. First component is canonical name, our uh, user ID, and uh, then it will be it will continue with uh, the whole rest of DN, the whole rest of domain in where our record will be stored. So for example, we will store in users organization.com. So we add it and then maybe reject if it, there was an error or resolve the promise. So, so let's try. For that purpose, I created a simple testing script. We will add the user with UID2, name Luke Skywalker, and the password use force. And if it was, if it will be successful, we will log it. And if it, it is an error, so uh, let's run. It. All right, we have successful add. If you run it again. We'll see an error. We can't add uh, another user with the same UID. Our add user method works, and uh, we we have another method to implement authenticate. It's already there. It uh, works quite the same. Create client, and uh, it then just tries to bind as a this provided credentials, user ID, and I want to remind you that for user ID we, we, we use 
just a number. It may be your Mongo ID or MySQL ID or anything else. So this unique identifier, we, we bind it uh, with the password and simply reject or resolve the prompts. So let's try. Can I enter this out and try authenticate? Here, I would like to fix it like this. Successful auth or Successful because the password is correct. Or if we say here, come to dark side and try an error. So, this is pretty much what I wanted to show you. I would like to be quick. If you want to have more information, just go to yellowred. GitHub.io and check the article about how to implement all that functionality and deploy it on the chip. So thank you for watching. Bye bye.